here's, what, here's the other method. Uh, what you can do is write that as a 1 plus uh, r squared over x squared to the negative half. Put it in the numerator and then expand it out. Expand it out along the, the I believe we did that, right, one time before. I'm not sure when or what, what were we talking about, but I showed you uh, by using the uh, expansion Remember that, that thing? 1 plus x to the power n, you can expand it, keep expanding, expanding, expanding. Well, the reason why this helps is because when this is a small number, r squared over x squared is a small number. When it's a small number, uh, uh, no, you know what? I should keep this like this. Uh, 1 plus x to the 1 plus n x over 1 factor, 1 plus x. This should be x squared. Yeah, the, the, the powers of the x's should, uh, uh, should grow, x cubed. So when x is a small number, and it's pretty, uh, and the limit of x goes to 0, right, when the x is very, very small, when x goes to 0, x squared is much smaller than x. x cubed is much smaller than x squared. So the reason this way of expanding helps is that you can eliminate the x squared, x cubed, x to the fourth, throw all those out. So the behavior of the function just looks like 1 plus an x. So when you want to see the behavior of a function, when, that, when this thing is, uh, is close to 0, you can just do that. You can uh, add uh, 1 plus n, which is this x. That's it. Only that survives. You see? So now you can do that. Uh, apply that to the total electric field. Uh, we get, um, what was the function? I erased it. 2 pi k sigma 1 minus, and 1 minus, now we put this, right? The limit of uh, Here we go, here we go. The beauty of everything comes together now. One, one cancel, and then this ends up being a half r squared over x squared. Two and a two cancel. Pi k sigma r squared over x squared. What should it look like? k, q over x squared, right? Point charge. Sigma is what? The charge of the disk over its area. So charge over area. Oh, so good, huh? KQ over X squared. That's the electric field of a point charge. <laughs> you see? So it works, it works, it works. All those tools, all that stuff that you learn in calculus, you learned in math, intermediate algebra, trig, everything just comes together in physics. And it all makes sense.